The ultimate aim of the work group is uh, create recommendations for standards and expand knowledge of existing practice for that purpose to get to the recommendations for standards. Digital currencies for our purpose uh, include cryptocurrencies, stable coins, e-money, and central bank digital currencies. So due to the existence of these various types of digital currencies, interoperability is key. Uh, and we have been discussing various ways to handle this very tough topic. And, and there are three things that we are working on. One is the perspectives on interoperability. Uh, the other is looking at current solutions, which is the interoperability solutions. And the third is recommendations for interoperability standards. These are the three, uh, three main sections that we are uh, dealing with in the interoperability working group. So in order to look at the goals uh, for interoperability for digital currencies, we have to look at why we need interoperability. Interoperability is needed because there are, as we said before, multiple uh, systems that, uh, uh, that create these digital uh, currencies. Uh, and this is needed for remittances, that means payments from one country to the other or across digital currency systems and for the payment of goods and services uh, which are across digital currency systems. Um, so the goals would be very simple, ease of convertibility uh, and creation of efficiencies in time and money. First, we have to come up with the basic definitions and terms used in interoperability. Different countries, different organizations uh, talk about these currencies in different ways. Uh, some of them say crypto assets, some of them say virtual assets, uh, just for the basic definition. So that's one of the major objectives. The other one is if there are two systems that implement digital currencies, there have to be discovery through a basic registry. For example, uh, the three letter codes for currencies like USD, EUR, and so on, uh, are codified by the ISO. Similarly, uh, there is a move afoot to codify digital token identifiers uh, inside ISO 24165. So that is one of the requirements. The other requirement is identities for natural persons uh, and enterprises and devices and extend what is available and being used, for example, in Ethereum ERC-20, ERC-1155, ERC-721, etc. The IWA TTF is one way to extend this. These are the areas in which technical standards are required for interoperability of digital currencies. Thank you.